What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Meg and I put out videos two days a week normally unless if iMovie decides to crash which has been my life for the past week and a half but got that fixed and now we are back on track and then sometimes I put out videos more than two times a week so just make sure you don't miss out on any of the content I'm putting out hit the subscribe button and then that way you are notified when everything is out so you don't miss anything so today's video it's Monday it should be makeup tip Monday but because of the whole iMovie ridiculousness that happened. I just really wanted to get content out that I knew wouldn't take a long time to edit because I just really don't like not putting videos up. So today I'm doing an unboxing or should I say an unbagging video for my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of March. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, is it just me or like have they used this bag before? I feel like I've seen this design before or maybe they used a bag that was like really really similar but um if you've been subscribed to ipsy let me know in the comments below if i'm just crazy or if they've used something like this or very similar to this because i feel like i've seen this before anyways if you're not familiar with what ipsy is it is a monthly subscription it costs ten dollars a month basically um i will have information in the link below so this doesn't get super repetitive every month so make sure you check out that info bar but basically you pay ten dollars a month and they send you stuff so let's see what they sent this month it's also exciting because not everyone gets the same thing so that's another cool thing so the first thing that i pulled out is this pantene air spray healthy style and feel alcohol free hairspray so i think that that's really cool that this is still appears to be an aerosol hairspray but it's alcohol free so that's really awesome i can't wait to try this out and it's um a two hold out of five so that means that it's still brushable and flexible which is cool and this is one fluid ounce and it also contains no ethanol so cool let's see if this has a scent to it it definitely still has like that hairspray smell but with a hint of like i want to say florals or fruit to it so kind of interesting so at least your hair won't smell like that typical hairspray spell and then of course it just says fragrance in the ingredients so no clue as to what that fragrance actually is next thing in here is ooh an illamasqua precision ink eyeliner liquid and this is um 0.10 fluid ounces or three milliliters and it just says their precision ink ultra fine tip allows for intricate defined application a long lasting liquid eyeliner it's waterproof formula dries within seconds and stays true for hours unlock your individuality at illamasca.com and then it just says to shake well before use do not use inside of the rim of your eye waterproof remove using waterproof makeup remover stop if irritation occurs and then it just has a list of the ingredients so this is really cool i hope that this is a good eyeliner to use the only thing that makes me nervous about waterproof products is that they're a pain to get off and the last thing that i want to do with the end of the night is just really work at getting my makeup off so anyways this is what the eyeliner itself looks like So it definitely looks like a felt tip applicator with a really pointy end. So this should be great for getting into the inner corner and having a lot of control when you're doing a winged liner. So that's a pretty nice black line. It's not anything too thick, but you should be able to build it up. So I'm interested to try this out actually. I'm like excited to use that. So that's really cool. It's gonna be a useful sample. Sometimes you get samples and you're like, mm, yeah, I'm really not gonna get much use out of that, but that I'm excited for. So this is an eyeshadow brush and this is from, um, bogachas.com. So this is what the brush looks like. It just looks like your typical flat shader brush, which you can never have enough of these brushes, to be honest, especially if you're lazy with washing your brushes. I can already see some hairs coming out that are shedding, which is fine. 
Um, I feel like with brushes and sh shedding, you should give them at least a chance to be washed. And after a first washing, if they're still shedding all the time, then that's how you know that they're no good. But this just says that it's from Paris and it's an eyeshadow brush. All right. Looks like we have a lipstick in here and this is a Socialite Lip Liqueur and this is from Model Co and it is 1.5 milliliters. Any other info on here? Nope, it just has Model Co written all over. Oh, so it's a lip gloss, that's cool. And it's in the color Socialite. So it's just this really nice red coral color. It's looking more red on the camera and in person. It definitely has more like a pinkish oranges tint to it. And it looks like there is some glitter and sparkle in there. So let's go ahead and swatch this. So it's on a doe foot applicator. And the first thing that happened when I opened this, you guys see that? So it looks like it might be a little bit on the sticky side, even wiping off the excess. It's just like... Ugh, not a good sign. So this definitely looks like a super sticky lip gloss, even just swatching it on my hand. It was sticking everywhere. However, there is a nice shine and a nice color to it. I will try it out, but it will just make me nervous if it happens to be a windy day and my hair is down. All right, the last thing in here is a Manacadar? Manacadar? Yeah, no idea, probably not saying it right. And it just looks like an eyeshadow and this is in the color Fantasy and it is, it doesn't say how much is in here. But it looks like a full size product. Let me open this really fast. Then also if you wanted more information, it seems like the company, um, you can peel back the label for a list of ingredients in case you were curious. So this just looks like sort of like a copper brown color to me with some shimmer in it. So let's go ahead and get this swatch going. So that's definitely really pretty. It looks like it reflects the light really well. So I should use this on my other finger to add it to my hand that's already swatched. This kind of reminds me of a darker version of Sin from Urban Decay, if you guys are familiar. So this is just gonna be like a really pretty lid color, or you can use this as an all over eyeshadow color, which is what I did today. I just used one color all over a little bit into the crease, and I think that that will be perfect for it. So there is what it looks like. It's kind of hard to pick up, but I just think that this is gonna look really beautiful on the eyes for sort of like a sultry look. And then just for the hell of it, I'm gonna swatch Sin since that's what it reminded me of. So you can see that these two colors are very similar. This is Sin and then this is the Fantasy color. You can see that the Fantasy color is definitely more coppery than Sin and Sin is definitely more of a lighter color. So Sin is right there at the bottom and then there is the Fantasy color. So it's basically like a darker version of Sin, which is cool. So that is it for this month's unbagging of my glam bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Feel free to share it if you want. And then also leave me a comment down below if you get an Ipsy bag, what your favorite product is. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Prefer no new content. I did get the pick problem. It's monthly subscription. And then you said, <laughs> Manica, man, <laughs> I can't word today. Bar below. Don't forget to give this a video if you, I just, see this is what happens when you don't video for a week and a half because your editing software doesn't work. It's a hot mess. You know what, for the hell of it, let's just try some of these products out and kind of do like an instant first impression because there's quite a few things here that I'm interested in. So I'm going to use the Fantasy Eyeshadow and just kind of plop it on top of what I have going on, which is DTF by Urban Decay. And I am going to use the brush that they sent me. I know I should clean it first, but I mean, whatever. YOLO. I know this really isn't gonna help much since I already have a color on, but I mean, let's just see what it looks like on top. Add some shimmer to my all matte look. So this color, I really do like the way that it looks on top of this 
medium to dark matte brown shadow that is DTF. So I don't know if you can like really see much of a difference between the two eyes, but I feel like it just added some light in. Sorry, I'm like looking at, at the viewfinder as I'm describing this. I really feel like it just added some light into my eyes and just brightened up the look. So I'm a fan of that. And then in case if you're wondering, this is what DTF looks like. There we go. Is it going to focus? There we go. That is what the DTF color is. And I really like the way that this looked on top. And so far, I mean, the rush is all right. We'll see if it has, ah, we'll see if it has any shedding problems as time goes on. But so far, so good. All right, next I'm going to try this uh, lip liqueur and see how this works out. I don't have anything on my lips right now except for chapstick, so. Okay, so this is a lip color with about two layers on top. I would say that this can easily be buildable. Um, if you do want to share coverage that is possible with this, just wipe off a lot of the product. Um, it doesn't feel super sticky on my lips, like how I was having problems with it like sticking as I was pulling it out. I didn't really see that happening here. So that is the color without any lipstick. I think this would look really nice on top of a red lipstick. And I just feel that it looks really nice on its own and it seriously smells like a strawberry fruit roll up. <laughs> All right, last thing I'm gonna try with this eyeliner. It's difficult because I already have mascara on. I know that there are people that can just do it all with mascara on their eye already, but I am not one of those people. So let's just see. So it definitely glides on super easy. I do feel that this is something that you need to be careful with because you could just easily just smudge it because the formulation is pretty wet when you do put it on. So, so far I like it. It was really easy to just do like a quick little wing um, because the tip of the brush is so precise. All right, so there was our little mini first impression with the product. So maybe I'll do this every month or maybe I won't. We'll see. But anyways, thanks for staying for the bonus footage and I'll catch you next time.